Peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions, a.k.a. Clear Audient Truth Speaker. Thank you all so much for tuning in and tapping in. As you can see, we're going to tap into a reading. This is just like an um, impromptu reading. I um, was actually headed out to work, and I had put it out there in our chat, if somebody could pick up my schedule today because I just wasn't feeling it. And um, right as I was about to drive out of my complex, someone had called and said, hey Q, I'll take care of it for you. And I was like, yes. So um, that's why we're here. We're going to tap in, see what the energy, uh, what's going on with our beautiful Scorpio energy. You know, Mars is in Scorpio. So if you look around and see what's going on in the world, the mass shootings, all of the war that's taking place, we are only being informed of, you know, the Israel and the Palestine war, but there's also war in Sudan. There's war going on in the Congolese. There's, you know, um, people are still recovering from the earthquake, which took place in Turkey um, last month. So they're, they're, the whole world right now um, is really feeling um, the energies uh, the intensity of the energy and I um, definitely wanted to you know tap and see what's coming in what's going on what's going on for my beloved Scorpios for all of you all uh, who have October solar returns I just want to send y'all happy special you know solar return to you all a special solar return to each and every one of you I will that you're all healthy mind body and soul that is the best gift I think anyone could have is to be healthy, you know, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically. So I will that for each and every one of you infinitely. Um, to anyone that may be new, my name is Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I'm also a clairaudient reader. So the way things work on my side of the planet is the name of the song, name of the artist, lyrics within the song, name of the, you know, the timestamp on the clock. It will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively. And it all blends beautifully with what the cards have to say. Um, my spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones, uh, meaning if the reading doesn't apply, let it fly by. Never try to force anything to be a story. Uh, my readings are also timeless. So whenever the video pops, pops up in your feed, that was in fact divine timing and in divine order that you've done so, beloved. Uh, to all of my A1s, Day 1s, everyone that you know, that's been showing love since I started posting these YouTube uh, tarot readings. I send infinite love and light to y'all. You already know love is love is love is love is love. I send y'all extra love because I love y'all that much. Um, without further ado, we're going to tap right in. I'm not going to do too much talking because um, I want to just see what the cards have to say. Katara literally just came and laid right in front of where I'm going <laughs> to need to put the cards. She's such a little spoiled mama. Hi, baby friend. Hi, baby friend. Your little baby friend. You smiling? You smiling? Oh, she smiling. I love that little friend, dude. Yeah. So um, we're going to dive right in, beloveds. We're going to see what we have coming and going out, going on. But before we do, you already know, we got to do some house cleaning. I'll shake. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, guy, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So, mode it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Oh, so we have on the Klizok, it is 5.30. I don't know if you can see that. Pardon me. It just turned to 5.31. So eight, we're going to break down the number eight and the number nine. So with this number eight, I'm definitely feeling, um, as we already know, the eclipse energy, the eclipse seasons definitely uh, cut you free from things that were binding you, karmic situations, circumstances, lessons, your, you know, closing chapters. It's the end of an era, end of a time um, 
you know, end of, of, of circumstances uh, that you no longer um, have to deal with. Maybe you've learned all the lessons you needed to learn from certain situations. I see like endings, whether it's endings of relationships, love ships, partnerships, uh, whether it could be, you know, even, um, ending contracts. I'm definitely getting a sense of like, you know, something is, is being finalized or something is complete or something has come full circle. Um, so it's like the end of a chapter, but the beginning of, you know, the new, um, I'm also feeling a sense of strength, feeling very strong right now. Um, that number eight does deal with the strength card. It also is showing that this strength is, is based off of the seeds you've sown in the past and now they're harvesting now you're getting you know um you know things are flourishing perhaps things are improving things are becoming um you know better all like well balanced i should say um I'm, I'm getting a sense of that as well but you persevering through some difficulties or you um you know overcoming certain circumstances i'm, I'm seeing a sense of like also um, an energy of like what goes around comes back around again. So that is also putting me in a mindset of like, you know, good deeds paying off things that you've done in the past are now paying off. Uh, so those seeds that you've planted in good faith, whether you plant them in good faith or bad faith, they will absolutely, you'll reap what you sow. So I'm seeing like wish fulfillments coming in. I'm feeling like there's recognition. I'm feeling like there's rewards. I'm feeling like there's new cycles, you know, that are starting off. Off. And I'm definitely getting a sense of elation as well. You know, I'm hearing infinite supply, infinite possibilities. So even if you may have felt stunted or you may have felt um, immobile or discouraged or whatever the case may be, I'm feeling like now you're you're getting more of that optimism um, because you you're now realizing or you're now believing that you can attain. Um, those dreams or you could attain whatever it is that you are going after uh what we have playing on the playlist i didn't even get myself set up um we also had that number nine show up and the nine is all about change um the nine deals with the hermit so a lot of you all have been kind of like you know really working on yourselves um i'm hearing recovery i'm hearing recuperation you know even reflection you know that that does um you know, encompass, you know, reflecting back on the past versions of yourself or past circumstances that you could have been involved in and, you know, kind of gaining um, an awareness, you know, whether it's an awareness of yourself or it's an awareness of a situation um, of other people, but there's just, you know, you're now seeing things um, crystal clear, so to speak. Um, I'm also getting a sense of there being like this sense of, you um, you know, feeling very independent, feeling very self-sufficient, if you will. Like you, you, you've you, really dealt with some sort of tower moment where things were destroyed and you had to rebuild on your own. So I'm definitely getting a sense of you really getting um, in a space where you feel more independent. Um, and with your independence, that does, um, that does, you know, kind of open up, you know, the, the, the door for that personal healing and happiness and and just feeling peaceful, you know, feeling a sense of peace or feeling a sense of bliss even. Um, so what we have playing on the playlist is we have, so this is um, Ro James and this is called Permission. So I do feel like, you know, for many of you all, you do now have, um, you know, the universe is now working in your favor and is opening up the doors of opportunity. I was hearing infinite possibilities, infinite, um, you know, um, infinite supply and so with permission i feel like you have the permission of the universe to pursue those pursue those dreams or to go after whatever it is that you um absolutely desire so let's see what the cards have to say that's what i'm picking up intuitively beloved so with ro james someone's name could be um joe um james someone's name could be like rolanda um roland um ronaldo ronald um roger you know um someone may call you ro um, someone could be from California also, but with permission, I definitely feel like spirit is opening things up for you. Like you're getting a yes answer. We have 88 abundance on the bottom of the deck. So remember we started off the reading with the number eight and then we broke down that number nine cause we saw it change. So this number eight, eight, that's double confirmation. Whenever I see double numbers, I always feel like this is you attracting what you are or attracting someone that's made in your likeness. And so it seems like you are getting 
um, you know, re rewarded and recognized. Like spirit is permiss, you know, is um, permitting you to to get to this next level or there's something coming in rushing in wish fulfillment i just saw 10 10 so this could be like you're receiving rewards after you know completing a cycle just as i said uh whoever you're attracting to you because that was also a double number um is also someone who has had to close out some you know major karmic cycles and because you've closed out those cycles and you've done a lot of soul work and healed yourselves i feel like now that's the that's what's opening up the door to some sort of wish fulfillment or blessing or to this emotional fulfillment that you'll be receiving the eights deal with you know like that um you know it's the infinity symbol sideways so i was getting what goes around comes back around again but i'm also getting a sense of like um you know you you powering through something you owning your power, taking your power back. Um, and not only you, but I feel someone also could be kind of like, you know, just really asserting themselves now, you know, really being more confident, really being more bold, more risky, more daring, uh, maybe even spontaneous, you know, spontaneous, um, you know, not being so rigid or so reserved or so blocked, like just being more open and more receptive to the possibilities. Um, we have 16 rebirth here. So this is seven, seven, because 88 breaks down to 16, that's seven. And then you have the 16, so that's seven. So there is this rebirth or this emergence of something new, a new perspective, maybe even a new direction. I feel like you've learned a lot because seven and seven breaks down to 14, which deals with, um, which breaks down to five. And the 14 is the uh, temperance. So I do feel like it's taken a lot of time, you know, to, to really recover, to heal, to grow, to nurture yourself, to mature ultimately, because the five deals with the hierophant. So there was a moment of pause to heal. There was a moment of pause to, you know, do a lot of, you know, introspection or take those internal self audits so that you can grow and mature. I feel there was also a lot of time um, just kind of reflecting on what your dreams and goals and aspirations might be and working towards those things so that you can attain them. Um, I'm seeing that there is victories ahead because of your focus. You know, the five deals with the throat chakra. So there could be someone communicating, someone that may want to re-spark or um, rekindle a connection with this rebirth. I'm definitely getting a sense of like transformations. Um, you, you go through a death, you know, Scorpios go through, you know, many deaths. Um, but then they emerge someone completely different because of everything they've learned in that experience. So I feel like this could, you know, definitely be um, kind of like the, the, the basis of how you are receiving, you know, why I should say you're receiving this abundance. You know, this abundance, as I said, um, is, you know, that deals with the seven, the chariot. Um, and so this could be why, why I'm getting a sense of like, you know, blessings pouring in or having an uh, outpour of love or someone really coming towards you um, with love and compassion in their hearts. I'm seeing this five, which also deals with, you know, the institutions of either marriage. It could be institutions 13, 13. So not only did you go through a startling metamorphosis, but I feel whoever you're attracting to you has also gone through that. I feel there's definitely an end of a cycle. It's definitely a death of an old concept, old way of being, old way of thinking, old way of doing things you know it's like out with the old in with the new is what i'm l l hearing very loud in my mind's eye but with that that chariot that is a very balanced energy that is an energy that is very assertive and determined and willful and more confident and courageous so it's asserting you know it's assertive energy is what i'm picking up on so this could be you being more assertive going after your dreams or this could be someone that you're attracting to you that could be asserting themselves to come towards you so divine spirit of peace power and protection what messages do you have for my beloved scorpios and we have right now whatever you want playing by tony 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 so you may have a divine feminine or divine masculine that's coming towards you that is going to be attentive that's going to be you know very intentional and to give you everything you want I feel like you won't have to ask for anything because this person will just, you know, be a giver. This is someone that is very giving. This is someone that's very, um, you know, very loving. Like their love language is, you know, kind gestures or doing things, you know, to, to make you happy. So what we have here is the number 66 healing. So I am seeing the overall energy is there is, you know, this energy. I was picking up recovery and recuperation earlier um, as well. Um, and so that's what, that's what this is all about. Recovery, recuperation. Um, this is a healing energy because there is a focus on the self, you know, knowing that in order for you to, 
um, you know, to attract healthy love or to finally be in that that partnership that you desire, um, that there's a lot of work you need to do. I also feel like there's someone who could be observing you from a distance or someone who is now seeing you in a different perspective because maybe they too have had to do some healing of their own and now they understand um, they understand you on a deeper level. Um, so I do get some observation. I do get someone kind of you know, looking at you from a distance and realizing um, that you are a goddess, that you're a god, that you are, you know, rare, um, that you're a rare breed or that you are regal, royal. You're like an earth angel, someone very loving. Um, they see you as very attractive, very beautiful, um, someone who knows their worth, someone powerful, someone who's a master manifester, someone who's has a unique skill or someone very wise, very nurturing, even domestic. This is someone that sees you as a creative, you know, you could be artistic, um, you know, you know, creative artistically or just creative. Um, you could be creating and birthing new ideas. You could be an excellent mother or father. Like they see you as someone that they can like build and cultivate and, you know, plant seeds and roots with. Uh, what we have on the bottom of the deck is 41 self-discipline. And this is, we're about to pull the card for how someone who or what you're attracting to you. So we have this number 66. That's a double number, as I said. So there could be a lot of communication intuitively or telepathically. We have the number 77. As soon as I said intuitively or telepathically, that seven deals with the crown. The six deals with the first die. So I do feel like spirit is telling you trust your intuition. I think that there's someone named Tony um, that could be coming in or maybe someone, you know, that you, uh, some of you all could be named Tony. But I'm definitely getting a sense in, in his, and, and California is sticking out. I feel um, someone could be from California. But what we have here is this wish fulfillment. It says follow your dreams. And that 13 definitely is like that's the rebirth. Like someone now, you know, going through that startling metamorphosis and realizing the importance of living their truth, living out their dreams or living out their truth to fulfill their dreams. So they're going to follow their dreams with whatever you want. It's like someone realizes like they have the infinite, I was hearing infinite supply, infinite possibilities. And that's what this is showing. With this 85 that breaks down to 13, that four, um, that 13 breaks down to four, someone's going after what they love. They're going after their heart's truest desires. Um, that could be in the form of, you know, perhaps a career, a, a business choice, um, you know, a locality, maybe even a person. Um, but this is someone that definitely is, you know, with six and four, um, or pardon me, with three and four, that breaks down to seven. That's the chariot yet again. So this is definitely someone who's had some time to ponder, had some time to really assess the situation. And I feel like the more they assess it, the more they realize, you know, that they want to um, go towards someone because this 66, 12, that breaks down to three, 85, 13, that breaks down to four. So three and four, seven. So this is that same person, the chariot, you know, they, they've had the time to reflect to observe, to look at things from a different perspective because the 66 breaks down to 12, which is the hangman. So they've been observing and they've been watching and they've been looking at you from afar. It could be even a secret admirer. It could be someone that's in your environment right now, someone you work with, someone you live around, someone you may go attend the same gym, same grocery store. You may walk on the same trail, same path. This is someone that knows who you are and they like what they see. And I feel what they are trying to do is figure out a way to assert themselves, to plan, prepare, strategize, to come towards you. You may come off very guarded. You may come off as someone who has walls up and rightfully so based off of everything that you've been through. So you're very guarded, very protective of your heart, very mindful of the people you allow in. And this person is very much aware of that. It's almost like they admire that about you because they know that you look at your energy um, your energy is like currency. So you don't just have everybody in your space and in your face. It's like you're very particular and very mindful of who you allow in your cipher. How someone feels about you is very attracted to you. We have this new beginning here. So this is someone that's definitely very passionate about you. They have fire. They have desire. They may even, um, you know, have this sense desire to, um, you know, take action because the seven and one is reduced to eight. So I do feel like they are mustering up the strength, mustering up the courage to come towards you. They see you as strong. They see you as someone who stands erect, someone who's very bold, someone who doesn't, um, you, you know, you're like fearless. We have Erica Badu, and this is um, like a medley um, that she has done. Someone could be from Texas. Someone's name could be Erica. Um, what it says is performs a medley that touches our souls. So this could potentially be like a soulmate. Um, that number eight 
definitely is dealing with the strength and I feel someone does see you as very strong mind you know body and soul like you're a very strong willed strong person maybe they're familiar with your story or they're familiar that you know you've had some really difficult um, circumstances in your life but you've overcome you know because you now have this new beginning and remember we saw the 1010 and that was you know alluding to the fact that there was some sort of major ending um, so what we also have that flew out is we have this 88 abundance so this is the same card we saw when we started the reading this is what's hidden you don't realize that this person is gonna bust a dope move and come towards you I do feel like this person is coming in almost like in the same energy to match or fly I do feel like they're feeling stronger they're feeling more confident and perhaps they've done enough work um, to be able to, you know, kind of like um, assert themselves in a way where they come off confident, they come off, you know, having something to add on to the build. I definitely get a sense of them getting rid of their ego, their pride. This could have been someone who was very um, proud or very stubborn, um, hard-headed even. Um, and, and, and there's definitely a desire to get rid of that because they, the way that they see you is they see you as someone who's very much a stand-up person um, you don't deal with, you know, um, the fake and the fugazi. You don't deal with the, you know, the superficialities. Um, you, you come off very genuine, very authentic. And so that's encouraging this person um, to really get rid of the ego, to really put their pride aside so that they can assert themselves or come towards you and approach you. Um, I'm getting aroused, like someone's definitely aroused by you, aroused by the idea of you. Um, and we also have spiritual partnership that flew out. And this is also a part of the outcome. So what you don't realize is there's someone that is coming towards you. And this is actually a very spiritual, sacred um, bond, union, and connection. It could even be past life love. All of these cards um, reduce to the number nine. Let me see. Wait. Three, four, seven, eight. You got 888 here. So there is some sort of wish fulfillment. There's some sort of blessing. I definitely feel like this this eclipse season is like it's getting rid of the dead weight it's getting rid of the toxicity it's getting rid of the illusions I just feel like you know the illusions and, and the things that are no longer serving our greatest good are being re removed and released from us and I've, I'm getting a strong sense of that and I feel like whatever was potentially blocking or delaying um, you know your emotional and financial fulfillment is absolutely um, being lifted as well and I feel like there's also like this chapter um, that is, you know, beginning for you in, in partnership. You're attracting people that are on your frequency or people that speak your love language, people that um, that you have um, a lot in common with. I feel like you're, you know, definitely, um, you know, attracting someone that's made in your likeness because you could clearly see here there's a lot of double numbers um, that were showing up. And so the 77 spirituality, along with this love here, is just showing that there's definitely someone who has it out for you. And this 5 and this 6, that's 11. So this is one half. So that 11 breaks down to 2. So this is someone that wants to give to you equally because I'm seeing like the 2 of Cups in my mind's eyes. So this is definitely someone who um, feels like, you know, they can build and grow with you. You okay, friend? You all right? What are you doing all that shaking? You okay, friend, dude? You smiling? You smiling, you little spoiled baby friend? So yes, so someone's definitely um, seeing you as someone that they can um, give to equally. Like, it's a happily ever after, happily, you know, happy spouse, happy house type vibes. So let's see what we got coming and going out going on. So look what's stuck in the box. We got door to value here. And remember, you did have abundance. So this was stuck in the box. And I always feel like when it gets stuck, I feel like this is spirit choosing the card for you. So what happens when you do heal yourself or when you heal that self, you learn to love that self. When you love that self, you better know that self. When you know that self, you can go after what you want. You can follow the dreams. You know, you're no longer living in fear. Fear is false expectations appearing real. So you chose to follow, you know, face everything and rise to the occasion. And when you do that, this is what's waiting for you. The doors to opportunity. This is spirit opening up that door. This is the number four as well. So I feel like this is what's bringing you, you know, that emotional, um, you know, you're feeling fulfilled. Um, I definitely feel like spirit doesn't want you worrying about money or worrying about, 
uh, finances over your health or your happiness or your peace of mind. Look who's on the bottom of the deck. I love it. You got Archangel Mikael. So you are definitely protected. Um, your angels are protecting you. You're walking with the giants, you know, um, you're walking with ascended masters. You know, you have 3000 ancestors walking with you. And this is the type of energy, um, you know, Archangel Mikael carries that sword and that sword represents the sword of truth. It also represents, you know, um, cutting you free from the illusions, cutting you free from the karmic cords, yokes, hexes, spells, um, generational curses even. But you have protection. You have the armor of protection around you. Look at that. He's ushering in the victories, the breakthroughs. You know, this is definitely a triumphant outcome. And that's what happens when you are living your truth or following your passion. Um, I feel like because you have a divine purpose, that's why Archangel Mikael is showing up. Because he's here to help protect and guide you. He's here to help be your, he's guard, like your guardian angel, if you will. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Let me get a message for my beloved Scorpios. What's hidden in the energy for my, not hidden in the energy. What, who or what is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. What's hidden in the energy? I keep saying what's hidden in the energy. So we got two cards that flew out. We got yin and yang. So remember, I was picking up that soulmate energy. Uh, and this breaks down to 2-2. Two, two, um, that which breaks down to 4. 4 is the vibration of 11-11. Eleven, eleven. Look what's right underneath that. Look at that. Carnucopia. I spoke to, you know, receiving plenty, blessings, a harvest, things flourishing. You know, this is definitely that energy, a carnucopia. This is when spirit, you know, definitely um grants you your wishes you won't have to worry about anything but you're coming into alignment you're coming into harmony archangel mikael is helping you with this as well like i feel like he's definitely protecting this guiding you know you towards this even like this is definitely a beautiful um blessing so we have this angel of love here so who or what you're attracting to you is you know someone that is potentially a divine masculine if you're feminine if you're feminine, it's a, you know, I mean, if it's a masculine, you're attracting someone that's bringing love. Like, I feel like perhaps your angels are conspiring behind the scenes to bring in a wish fulfillment, to bring in someone, you know, that you may have specifically asked for, because this is four and four, and it's going to feel like a wish fulfillment, because that four, four breaks down to eight. So I am getting a sense of like, you know, you're attracting someone that is your soulmate, and you got 27, 27, and that's this card, spiritual partnership. So for some of you all, you all are definitely attracting like the yin to your yang yang to your yin because we see that here i do feel someone is very stressed and anxious over the connection with you um because it's almost like you know it's almost so I'm, I'm getting a sense of like maybe someone that you're familiar with someone that you know or maybe someone that's familiar with your story knowing what you've been through maybe they're a little anxious a little you know um conflicted um they do feel conflicted they do feel anxiety when they, you know, when they're thinking of you, I do feel like this is someone, you know, when they are resting at night, they may wake up in cold sweat or they may not get enough rest at night because they're constantly thinking of you. I'm definitely getting a sense of someone having some sort of addictions, afflictions or some sort of, you know, codependency um, with a situation that could be the reason why someone is feeling, um, you know, mentally conflicted or mentally um you know, exhausted. I just get someone just exhausted from thinking, you know, because I'm seeing this five and the six and that six is definitely giving the sense of someone from your past, you know, someone that could have definitely, um, I'm saying definitely a lot, but someone who could have possibly like abandoned you, left you, um, you know, rejected you, or it could have been unrequited love type of situation. And now there's regret, there's remorse, uh, perhaps because, you know, like I said, someone's having an ego death. Someone's realizing um, after this observation, you know, after taking the time to get things right, you know, they're realizing exactly um, who you are or what you mean to them. We have the angel of balance here. So this is what the angels are doing. They're bringing things right back into equilibrium for you because of your work. It's like the work that you do is going to garner you the results that you are now receiving, you, you know, seeing you're reaping the rewards of your hard work. And when you do what you're supposed to do, this 48 breaks down to 12, which breaks down to three. So this is really showing that there is a sense of like your angels are um, being supportive. You know, they're being supportive to help you see things clearly, to help you assert yourself as necessary. 
to help you open up, you know, and, and express yourself or to take appropriate action. But it's like, that's what spirit is showing. I see the 29, the world, and this is also uh, clarifying, you know, what's hidden. So we have, you know, the world card and we have this 19 pride. And then we also have spiritual partner. So someone has learned from you. I'm definitely getting a sense of someone that could be at a distance, someone that you could have, you know, kind of like separated from or distanced yourself from. Um, they have also, uh, you know, been triggered by whatever growing and healing you've been doing, whatever spiritual awakening uh, you've been um, experiencing. I feel like it has also triggered them in a way. Maybe this is you getting rid of your faulty belief systems and your pride and ego. Um, and this is what's aligning you with your divine counterpart. I definitely feel there's a graduation whenever you get the last card of the major arcana, which is the world card that shows that you've learned to navigate tough situations. You've learned to really overcome spirit sees that you are in balance and you did have an angel helping you, um, you know, to restore the balance in your life. But I also feel like you have someone that is your divine counterpart or soulmate that is going to come into your life to also assist with, you know, um, you know, bringing that balance. We have, um, we have, um, Luther Vandross and this is called superstar until you come back to me. That's what I'm going to do. Someone's name could be Luther. Someone's name could be Vandross first, middle or last, um, with superstar. I definitely feel like you could be in the spotlight or maybe this person sees you as a superstar sees you as a star sees you as someone that they wish to pursue because this is the energy of who or what you're attracting to you and it says follow your dream and what i feel you know this hidden energy um not only will this person seem to be a wish fulfillment for you but perhaps you may you know absolutely be that to this person um so let's tap in let's see what we got let's get some messages from Let's go ahead with traditional tarot. I always reference it, so let's go ahead. I can't make this up. Look what's on the bottom of the deck, the star card. So the star card is here. So there's definitely wish fulfillment. This is definitely how someone sees you. Remember, we just had superstar, you know, playing. And it says, till you come back to me, that's what I'm going to do. So someone is definitely manifesting. Someone's tapping into their alchemical force. Someone is absolutely setting their intentions. Um, tapping into sorcery, you know, being that that um magi i i see that there is this energy of like you you've cut yourself free from people places and things or purged yourself purified yourself cleansed yourself and it's like you know you've turned those pains those vulnerabilities into a superpower you know because now here you are you're accepting you know yourself good bad or indifferent it's like you are um definitely being your authentic self and you can't hide anything if you're naked so it's like you're bearing your soul you're you know you've learned to find that balance that emotional equilibrium within yourself i see someone definitely is coming in with an offer um it's taking its time this could be an offer that you're manifesting as well but i do feel like someone is uh you know kind of planning preparing because they want to get it right this is like that type of person that takes their time to get things right they don't just rush in like the knight of wands knight of cups knight of swords the knight of pentacles is very meticulous um he strategizes or she strategizes so with this two of pentacles there could be some options or there could be some juggling someone could be a little conflicted or confused maybe this is just representative of all that you're carrying the burdens you know all of the things that you are having to um, manage and deal with um, and perhaps there's a need or a desire to delegate some of the responsibilities. With this Four of Pentacles, I see someone has been holding on to you or holding on to the idea of you. And you've been kind of guarded or distanced, um, you know, very protective, as I said. What does it say about the two, of Pe the two of Cups? This is that energy that I was picking up on. Like someone is absolutely seeing you like their significant other. They better have. They're, you know, they're, 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 this is someone that's like the happy spouse, happy um, house type of energy. But this is also, you know, someone that's done a lot of their own work. If you could see here, I was getting, you know, a sense of like you holding back and not really being open. Um, but I do feel this is someone from the past that's been holding on to you. There is an offer, a tangible offer. There could be someone like proposing or, you know, asking for commitment, asking to take things to the next level. Maybe there's a job offer. There's some sort of, um, look at this. I can't make this up. You got the lovers and the two of cups. 
So this is soulmate energy. And you see the angels are overseeing this. So the angels are definitely overseeing this union. I feel like they're conspiring behind the scenes. And they're the ones supporting you because you have the angel of love. So they want to bring you back into harmony. So this is a very harmonic connection that you're attracting to you. This is someone that will balance you. Um, keep you balanced. Keep you in harmony. Um, this is a, a beautiful beautiful energy I'm picking up on so I feel with superstar this is like a wish fulfillment this is someone or something that you have manifested <laughs> you know what I'm talking about like you manifested this person or this person is working to manifest you you see the infinity symbol this is an energy that knows how to tap into their divinity um, of creation you know they know that you know what you what you think the intentions you set is what you manifest I definitely feel like you're highly highly Intuitive, you could be sensing that someone's coming, or you could be sensing that change is in the air, you know. But I'm definitely getting a sense of like whoever or whatever um, is coming in is, is, is a part of an answer um, to a prayer, to a petition, uh, to you know, even a manifestation ritual. You know, this is someone that you've called in, or someone that you know has specifically called you in. So, what we have here is the world. So, the world is here twice. So, this is the reason why you know the door to value is it opening up because your stocks have changed you know when you grow through this this is like a rites of passage you know you have definitely graduated to the next level and so of course you're going to be rewarded you've done a lot of healing you know you've gone through that dark night of the soul journey so when you go through that dark night of the soul journey and you self you know become self-aware or you observe yourself and analyze and um you know do some some soul work you know that's when you get rewarded 36 36 was nine nine which breaks down to 18 which is nine yet again and so that just shows yet again that you know there's been a lot of changes within yourself and those changes have you know really helped you to become more independent to be more um self-sufficient as well um there, you, you you can't be codependent um in a, you know uh and still be um how do you say it? you can't you can't be in a codependent relationship but still demand or you know expect to be treated with you know that respect like you're doing things on your own i hope that makes sense it sounds so good in my mind's eye but i couldn't formulate it but it's like you, you know codependency doesn't lead um to independence into it doesn't lead to that that overall happiness that you feel when you've uh, accomplish things on your own. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, you know, someone that that's so used to having a crutch. It's like you will never really fully know what it feels like to walk on your own if you're always relying on the crutch. So it's like that's the energy of someone getting rid of the crutch. And this is, this is the reward. The doors begin to open up. They begin to, you know, they begin to open up you know, the door to personal healing and happiness. And there goes that six of wands, the triumph, the victories. I feel like there's absolutely all eyes on you. Like you're in the spotlight. You're seen as a superstar, whatever it is you're doing. You know, people are watching. People are, you know, keeping tabs or taking notes or, you know. And it's like, you know, this is, this is really something that you love to do. Whatever this dream of yours is, it's like you, you have really put it into motion um, and it's obvious that you love it because your, your gifts are rare, your gifts are unique. Um, and there's a victory ahead. Like there's going to be celebrations. Why is 85 follow your dream? Thank you, spirit. There's some good news coming in. There could even be some offers. There could even be offers with this fool energy. This is beautiful. So this is new beginnings. This is like, you know, definite success. The fool is really, you know, it, he's fearless or she's fearless. Um, knows no boundaries. You know, that's why it's the number zero because there are no boundaries. There are no expectations. You know that, you know, if you take the leap, you're trusting, you know, you're walking in faith that spirit is going to have your back, middle, and front. And it's because you're being your authentic self. You're being true to yourself. I absolutely feel like, you know, by you pursuing your dreams and living in your authentic, in authenticity, um, that is what restores the balance in your life. That is what, you know, also, um, is the catalyst to like, you know, offers being made. I feel there's definitely someone who's, um, dreaming about you, thinking about you. You constantly live in someone's head. This is someone that's hidden. 
I'm getting like a secret admirer. Um, definitely a lot of dream activity, you know, definitely a lot of thoughts, someone that's very passionate, someone that's very attracted to you. Um, this is someone I feel you know because we still have Luther Vandross until you come back to me. That's what I'm going to do. So whatever this person is doing um, right now, um, you know, whether they are, you know, kind of trying to manifest you, whatever it is, because this one does deal with the magician. So maybe they are trying to manifest a new beginning with you. We did see that magician there. So why is this one new beginning, 18 anxiety and uh, five, five attachment? This attachment could also speak to someone being obsessed, you know. So these two cards, they definitely want to fall and I'm going to let them. So, yeah, this person sees you as a star. This is someone that has not, they can't let you go. This is someone that, you know, holds on to you, holds on to the idea of you. I feel like you have, you know, maybe this person has hurt you in the past. And I feel like you have focused on, you know, healing yourself. Remember what I said earlier, you got to heal thyself in order to love thyself. And that's what you're focused on. You're focused on healing yourself. And the more you learn to heal yourself, the more, um, you begin to love yourself the more you begin to love all of you flaws and all and this is the catalyst or the conduit to the changes that you start to make which is why um you had this 13 also because that is you know the death of the old way of thinking and i feel you're still here being very optimistic you know still walking in faith and being hopeful um that something is going to come through but you're also releasing or relieving yourself of the burdens of a situation because that's what this water is about as well. It's about healing. It's about cleansing. I feel someone's also very burdened, you know, perhaps by the way things may have ended or the way um, things are right now. There could be a lot of burdens. Maybe there's no communication because, you know, there's, there's nobody here but this one person. There's nobody here but this person. It's like there's distance. I'm definitely getting a sense of distance. I'm definitely getting a sense of, you know, someone feeling alone, you know, someone feeling... Um, you know, a little, um, a little afraid of, of, um, you know, kind of like what to say or, you know, how to, um, come towards you even, you know, there could be some hesitation, but I feel like a lot of this is self-imposed mental anguish. This is someone ruminating. I feel like someone is really stressed out because maybe they did reject another person or maybe there's, um, there were some lies, you know, that could have been told in the past i see seven of cups so there could have been lies about options or someone could have had other options and someone may have felt duped you know what i'm saying and and this this brought everything out of equilibrium i feel like you and this person had a fallout um whoever this is because they had a lot of options i feel spirit is also saying that you have options there goes the hierophant that i was speaking to so someone has been maturing and growing up i feel like they there goes the hangman i was telling you about so someone's definitely been growing. I feel like they've had that epiphany. They've had that aha, like spirit gave them the truth, gave them the business. And this is why that ego death is here because now they are seeing themselves as they were. You know, when you have nothing but time to sit and look at things from a different perspective, you see how his crown chakra is glowing. Well, that's the epiphany, the aha, the old snap. That's what it was. You know what I'm talking about? Like that's when somebody can really see the role that they played and they understand or understand why you cut them off or why there was a lack of communication but i also feel like this is someone that wants to clear the air like this is someone that wants to extend an olive branch even we also have the wheel of fortune they could be distance but i feel something's coming around full circle i feel like there's definitely um blessings opportunities financial freedom i feel like you're going to be debt free i feel like there's definitely offers i do feel if there were delays and blockages that those things are being removed because spirit is literally turning things around in your favor spirit is literally um bringing you the abundance and this is bringing emotional fulfillment satisfaction joy happiness and peace i also feel like this is you um and another person something's coming full circle like there's another opportunity there's another chance I do feel like there's a turning point in the situation as well. I do feel like there's like fortune and fame and, you know, this is the wish fulfillment that I was picking up on. Like, because this abundance, you're getting plenty. Definitely feel you're going to hear some communication about an offer. You know, this is going to really, um, this is going to bug you out. Like, you're going to be bugging out. Um, but this is that person observing, you know, observing, watching, you know, from a distance. Like I said, there's distance. So this person has no choice but to sit and watch because there is no communication. But this is going to allow them to have that ego death. And spirit is the one 
responsible for that. 4444, four, 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 just as I said that. So spirit is definitely assisting and aiding and supporting this union. I do have a strong feeling like this is, um, you know, like a sacred connection. Um, I mean, we obviously saw that, but this is a, a connection that I feel your angels are um, conspiring behind the scenes. So why is this? Wow, that card got bent. I'm going to take that. <coughs> All right, spirit of peace, power, and protection. Thank you, spirit. And we have temperance. Didn't I mention temperance? So good things take time to create. I also feel like this is happening in divine timing. And spirit is using these two cups. So it's about you finding harmony and balance and healing within yourself. But also whoever spirit is bringing to you is also trying to teach them the same thing. That's what this angel of balance is all about as well. That's what this is all about. You know, you have the angels literally conspiring. That's why I kept feeling like they are, um, you know, assisting you in this connection, assisting you in this person. Um, and we have the nine of cups. This is selfish loving me, myself, and I. So you're going to be elated. I do feel like because you loving yourself um, was a priority that you made, um, you prioritized yourself. That's why you're attracting, you know, healthy love. Because you've learned to love yourself. Love is an inside job. And because you did that work, took the time. Because temperance, it's all about timing. Good things take time to create. Patience as well. Like don't rush the process. You can't rush and heal. You have to take as much time as necessary. It could have took nine years for y'all. Nine months. You know what I'm talking about? But this is what it required. It could have been 14 years for some of you all. But this is how someone sees you. Independent. Self-sufficient. You know, this is that nine energy. This is someone who's also very guarded. Someone who's, you know, like that wounded warrior, but you've also, you know, you've rebuilt. There goes the death card. You've rebuilt after a tower. You rebuilt after something was destroyed. And now you are here self-sufficient. This is pre-emperor status, pre-emperor status. And you're going to receive some news. See how this bird is, is, you know, has flown on the hand. And it's almost like she was expecting it because she does have a glove here. So this could be even like... You know, um, like I said, someone that she's manifesting. This could be a pet falcon or a pet bird as well. Because um, she does have that glove, that protective glove. So I do feel like there is a relationship here. So there is a very strong relationship and connection you have with, I feel, your angels and your guides. You may receive a lot of downloads and a lot of um, signs and synchronicities. You may see a lot of animal totems. Um, just the other day when I was taking a nature walk, I saw like a blue heron. Um, I saw some turtles, I saw a black butterfly, um, I saw a bunch of little animal totems. And, um, you know, the very interesting thing is that, you know, people just think, oh, it's beautiful to see it. But it's like, nah, like, they, like those are messages. Like spirit is literally, um, you know, giving you some divine downloads and you have to um, decipher what they're saying to you. We have um, Jodeci, someone could be from North Carolina, and the name of the song is called Fiendin. So I was picking up someone very passionate someone aroused, especially with how someone feels about you. We got new beginnings. So someone is definitely seeing that you're handling your business. How they see you is like this, like, you know, you are very much um, regal, royal, independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant. Um, you're confident. You love yourself. You're happy. You're content. You know, that is a very attractive energy. And whoever this is, they definitely feel like you are the yin to their yang, like you're their soulmate, like you're someone that they could build with and grow with. They do see that you have um, blessings coming in. You got karmacopia showing up. You got the wheel of fortune showing up. You also had um, follow your dreams. You have this 88 abundance card showing up. You have a love that's coming in, the spiritual partnership. And I do feel like all of this is coming in because, you know, the old is, is, is closing out. You know, you have spiritual connections, bonds, and love that's coming in. You know, you have Archangel Mikael and the rest of these beautiful angels that are, you know, helping you and guiding you on this path, on this journey. And they have been, you know. Um, you got a lot of beautiful angelic presence around you, guardians showing up. We just saw 4444 earlier. You got the door to personal healing and happiness. You got the door to value. You got windfalls of money and blessings, unexpected cash flow. So this is really, you know, I feel rewards for, you know, these out, these endings for the ends of these chapters. This is like, you know, when you complete a cycle, this is what you get. You get the rewards, you get the recognitions, you get the blessings. And I feel like you have literally, you know, um, 
worked very hard to uh, attain these things. As I said, like this isn't by happenstance. So let's tap in. Let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on. We're going to use my deck. I can't make this up. Financial freedom, success, beloveds. You know, this is yours. This is what you're getting. You're getting your just due. You know, when you put yourself out there and do the work, this is what you get. We got Jackson 5, who's loving you. So someone could be really stressing on who's loving you. That could be the reason why someone's like kind of, you know, up in their head, stressing and anxious. Because how they feel about you is anxiety. They don't know who you're with. They don't know if you're with someone. Meanwhile, you're here single, you know, and happy also. Like you're not in no codependent relationship, toxic relationship. You're just loving yourself. You're taking care of you. We have perform a grounding ritual on the bottom of the deck. It says kick your shoes off and plant your feet in the dirt. And that's a very beautiful way to purge. It's a beautiful way to, you know, also get some powerful downloads. So what flew out for the um, overall energy? So you're healing from being in a third party or triangular situation. It says miss stress is what they call me and I answer to it. No stress. So there's definitely been like a roadblock due in part to uh, someone coming in and inserting themselves in someone's relationship. Someone got caught up with a mistress. Someone was healing from being caught up with a mistress. Um, someone had to heal from that. And because you healed from that, and not only did you heal from that, but you, you know, you forgave, you got over it, you had your spiritual awakening, and that's what's now leading to, you know, you being rewarded and recognized. What did I say about y'all being regal and royal and being seen as, you know, rare breeds? It says regal, royal, th there's levels and you supersede them, diamond in the rough. So this is why someone can't get you out of their mind or why they can't let you go why they want a new chance, a new opportunity, because it's almost like, you know, they may have like thought you was always going to be there, try to keep you on the back burner, you know, give you enough attention just so they can, you know, deal with you when they feel like it and then they disappear. But it's like you, you've completely removed yourself from a situation. And that is something I feel that this person um, perhaps may not have anticipated whoever this is. Um, if this is someone, you know, if this isn't someone that, you know, I feel like you have, had an experience with third parties where there was deception, lies, and infidelities. And that has, you know, helped you to graduate, elevate. Um, it's helped you to learn to love yourself. It's helped you to put yourself first or to prioritize yourself. It's also helped you to look at relationships a little differently um, and to also realize who you are. You know, you, you are regal. You are made in the most high's image. Um, so we have he, she, is the one that got away. So how someone feels about you is absolutely like they've missed an opportunity. Um, and that's why they're coming after you. The card actually fell on the floor. So let me get it. So this was the card. It was 52, 52 on the clock. That's 14. That's five. So seven, seven, 14. That's five. So someone does want to speak to you. And I feel like that's another reason why they're anxious, but this is the card that flew across the room. Um, so this is what they are now coming to the realization of. Is that you're the one that, you know, that got away, you know, just as I said, with this angel of love, this is awakening them. Their heart chakras open four and four, eight. That's the wish fulfillment. They're realizing that you were the wish. Remember, we had superstar playing. Now we got Jill um, Scott. So gone. What's my mind say? So someone feels gone. They feel lost without you. Someone's name could be Jill or Scott Paul. Um, someone could be from Texas or Philly. But this is definitely how someone is realizing like. Dang, I love this person. You know, four is the vibration of 1111, which is the twin flame of the soulmate, the cosmic companion union. Um, so this is what someone has had uh, this epiphany. You know, they've had some sort of grand epiphany. And that's why they want to, you know, perhaps offer, you know, offer you love, an apology even. This may surprise you because there's like a fish. And I feel like that's why spirit was saying, like, trust your intuition. If someone does return, you know, just trust your intuition. Someone does feel like, you know, a loss. You know, because I'm getting like the four of cups, like, you know, they're sitting there kind of like, you know, almost not, I don't want to say pouting, but they definitely, um, you know, have regrets, have remorse for, you know, the decisions they've made or, you know, they have some re regrets um, on how they may have treated you or how they may have approached a situation or dealt with a situation. They feel like, and, and it's all because they were in their ego, you know. I feel like, you know, when you get out of your ego and you start being honest with yourself and you take off the mask, you start to see things clearly. And that's that's obviously, you know, 
why this Ace of Swords is here, along with the Hierophant, because that speaks to learning. You know, someone has learned, um, you know, they, they've learned and they now can be honest and transparent about how they look. Um, so we have hone your skills, gifts, talents, practice makes perfect. And we're about to pull the card for how someone feels about you. So this is what they've seen. They've seen you like level up. That's probably why um, they see you as a star or see you as, you know, being super successful because, you know, they may have known you when you first started a business or when you first started out and now they see how far you've come. So it's almost like they're watching you literally attain, you know, um, these dreams and these goals or attain, you know, something that you've always set out to do. And it's really inspiring. Um, it's really encouraging. Um, but with what their mind says, I definitely am getting a sense of like someone who is uh, looking at you from a different perspective, kind of seeing you um, in a whole new light. This lighting, speaking of light, let me fix this light because this light is mad dark. It's mad dark, son. All right, is that better? I feel like it's so dark. All right, so we have sun gaze enlightening ritual. So, oh, enlightenment ritual. So you had the grounding ritual and the enlightenment. So some of y'all need to wake up like at dawn when the sun is just rising, when it's like that gold, you know, that gold tone. That's a beautiful time to really sun gaze. Um, and also go out and ground yourself. Take your shoes off and just plant them in the earth, in the grass, in the dirt, and just walk, you know, or stand or meditate. Um, what flew out, how they feel about you, this card flew right back out. Regal, royal. There's levels and you supersede them, diamond in the rough. So that's how they feel about you. They see you as someone that is definitely rare. You're that star, you know. You're someone that they may have prayed for, wished for, and they didn't realize it when they had you. And now I feel like I said something's coming full circle. Like there's an opportunity, you know, for the two of you to part, you know, to um, cross paths again. Perhaps that's what someone is pray praying for. Look at this. This is, <laughs> look at this. This says, it's it's the chemistry for you, the inherent chemistry. So they feel the chemistry. They feel the synergy. You know, there's a lot that you two share in common. There's a lot that you, you know, both, you know, have um, in common. You know, a lot of commonalities, I should say. And then we have this. It says, you plus me equals love. This is what they realize. They realize they love you. They realize that they cannot deny this anymore. Their pride and ego had them acting like they didn't care. But truth be told, they do. They see you as a wish fulfillment. This is what I was saying before I even touched the cards. Say less. Action speaks louder than words. What did I say? This person wants to show you. This is someone that's going to be very intentional with their actions now. They're not just going to come in and, 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 and you know bump their gums and tell you things they're going to show you with their actions how they feel because they realize that that is your love language you know what i'm talking about like they know that that's your love language like you want to see it in real time so what's hidden in the energy why is this 88 abundance uh the 48 angel of balance the hierophant and the ace of swords here for what's hidden in the energy thank you spirit and we have ringing in the ears so this is another um energy for like signs and synchronicities some of you may be having that sensation um and it says mama yemen ya love thyself you are beautiful and it says protect thy family so you are protected and i feel like that's the the balance that needed to be restored is the love of self you know that was the most important because you can't give to anyone from an empty vessel can't pour into someone's vessel if your vessel is is empty so I definitely am getting a sense. That's why this angel of balance is here to help you find that balance and that equilibrium, which is what that seven, the chariot is all about. You have to be in harmony. You have to be, you know, strong and determined and willful on your own first. And I do feel like that was a lesson learned. Um, and that's a way how, or that's how someone was able, you know, to cut themselves free from whatever wasn't serving them. 13, 13 on the clock. So not only have you gone through a major change, transformation, um, and a startling metamorphosis and rebirth. Um, but I feel whoever you're attracting to you has also experienced the same. So it says ringing in the ears. Some of you all could be dealing with that sensation. That is a sign that something is coming. News is coming or changes are abound. Um, but it says right. If it's the right ear that is ringing, it says spirit is communicating with you. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides, or someone in your um, and, and, or someone you have a strong energetic connection to. I can't even read my own right. 
Then it says left ear. Uh, it's messages from your higher self that there's a shift in um, in your field. There's a shift in the, in your field. So something that could be positive or negative, but that's that's alerting you. It's like alerting you that there's some sort of shift. So there's a message from your higher self that there's a shift. So maybe that's something that you need to pay closer attention to. Like if you are around certain people and your left ear starts ringing, you know, maybe there was a shift in the energy, you know, when someone entered the room, that could be almost like an alarm or some sort of like almost, you know, just a signal or sign from spirit to let you know, protect yourself. But you are protected. It says protect thy family. Mama Yemenya, some of you all could be going and doing, uh, maybe this is what they are saying that you need to do like a Mama Yemenya ritual. Um, you know, take some beautiful flowers, collect some shells. Um, you know, and, and, uh, you know, blue flowers, some roses, white flowers, um, and just do a beautiful, uh, Mama Yemenya ritual, o Mama Oshun ritual. Um, but this is definitely giving, um, that you are protected. You are divinely protected. So why is this 19 pride? I do feel like there was some sort of healing that has taken place because with that pride being put to the side, it's like, you know, that could also be the reason why someone's pride is being put to the side because if this is a sacred bond and union spirit is going to take care of not only you but also whoever you're meant to be with and we have another card so we have this love and happiness this was poking out so it says he loves me he loves me not games mixed signals so that could have been what you was dealing with that's why this pride is at 19 because he was dealing with someone who was confused and conflicted stuck in two minds juggling had options you know what I'm saying? And that was their pride, trying to impress their friends, you know, trying to uphold their reputation for being a player or being a heartless person. And, you know, now when they bumped into a real one, they realized like that that's not impressive. So with love and happiness, spiritual union, that's what you are coming into. Um, this is what you're dealing with right here. So this is what flew out, beloveds. You got that. And what you are getting rid of or what this person is getting rid of along with the pride. Because remember, this is like an ego death. This is someone that was a player player from the Himalayas. This is someone that was just out there. It says, um, they for everybody, commitment fold, wandering eyes. So this is like that knight of wands that comes in real passionate, lays it on thick. Girl, I love you. Boy, I love you. Boom, boom, boom. And then before you know it, they disappear like a thief in the night. You call them, they ghost and you're not answering. And then they pop up two, three weeks later, laying it on thick. Girl, I love you. Giving you flowers, buying you food. Then boom, same thing. So this is somebody that, you know, when you see somebody that doesn't, you know, prioritize you or um, they're not consistent with the way that they treat you, please know that that means that they got other people out there. You know what I'm saying? They juggling multiple people. They juggling multiple circumstances. And you got to protect yourself out here. You can't be dealing with, you know, those type of energy vampires or incubus, succubus, succubus type of energy. So when you're getting mixed signals, you got to read between the lines. Like you can't just, you know, expect somebody to be like, yeah, I'm playing you, girl. Like, yeah, I'm playing you. I got other girls that I'm hollering at. Yeah, so that's why I didn't pick you. Like they ain't going to tell you the truth. Like, so you, you got to do your own math. Like you can't be expecting somebody who's obviously playing games to be, you know, transparent. Like you got to do your own due diligence, take care of yourself and make sure that you protect yourself. And that's what I think, you know, ultimately, um, is the reason why someone is finally having this ego death because they're realizing they've been like cutting their nose off and spiting their own face. So with this single, um, black, white, female, once your life, jealous, envious, sneaky hater, I definitely get a sense of like, there is someone, um, that could potentially either, uh, be vetting for your attention or vetting for the person that's coming towards you's attention and they can become like an arch nemesis because you know they're obsessed with a person or you know this is someone who's definitely got some sort of sick attachments um this is someone that is wearing a mask this is someone that definitely um you know projects but i do feel like with this you know this energy is someone that's obsessive let me get one more message. Why is this single black, white female here once your life? Because remember, we have mistress. So that could be that person. That's who that is. 
Thank you, Spirit. Because I was like, who is this random person coming in this beautiful reading? But this is this person. So whoever that mistress was, um, that, that whoever's leaving that mistress to come towards you, or whoever's leaving someone that they got got you know um, distracted by to come towards you, they they're gonna find out about you perhaps, and they're gonna have some sort of you know vendetta or sick competition with you. Um, let me get one more. Okay, thank you. These cards. So it says too much of anything can be bad for you. Moderation, and it says you will know. Trust your gumption. So spirit is telling you you will know what to do or how to handle this situation, or maybe this was what this is what someone is doing that's coming towards you is they are trusting their intuition and that could be the reason why um they're walking away with too much of anything you know isn't good for you um that could be even like because i'm hearing like someone could be just like um using sex as a weapon you know like this could be a female that just you know comes pulls up at the job in the parking lot just somebody that just has no boundaries has no you know what I'm saying? And and they think it's cute, but it's really just a way to control the situation. And spirit is like too much of anything. So maybe the sex is really good with this person, but nothing else. And maybe the sex is really good because this person could be, you know, literally like freaking incubus succubus, like, and taking their life force. But we have, you will know. So someone is definitely getting some sort of epiphany or download about what they need to do. And we have trust must be earned, not given. And I think that's why spirit is telling you, like, you know, change behavior is the only apology that you should be accepting if this is someone coming, you know, back from your past. Um, even if this is like, because, you know, with all those eights, I'm even getting like this could potentially be a comic, but I feel this is a test from spirit to see if you're going to go backwards or if you're going to move forward, because this is a time of cutting yourself free and not, you know, reconnecting with people that you know are no good for you or you know that is toxic. Um, I feel like spirit wants you to know your worth and spirit wants you to choose. Spirit is not going to tell you what to do. Spirit is going to give you, you know, the, the truth and you have to navigate your way. But I know a lot of you all are definitely going to uh, come into a very sacred bond and union with someone uh, because I do feel like you all have completed and wrapped up a cycle and you have elevated and graduated and you've had your spiritual awakening and now you're going to start attracting amazing things amazing people in your life i'm going to get a couple messages from a deck i created i see the number seven here so someone could be dealing with uh you know cancer that's the number seven uh july uh someone's solar return could be on october 25th someone's solar return happy belated by the way someone's solar return could be on uh, november 7th someone could be a life path number seven um, seven deals with the crown. So again, trust your intuition. Don't do anything unless it sits right, feels right in your spirit. Pay attention to your dreams. Keep a dream journal. For the past couple of weeks, I've been having some very strange dreams. And my cat, you know, Katara wakes me up and I forget them. And I've been trying my hardest to recall them. So a bunch of cards flew out. And I heard spirit say, keep them all. So I'm seeing victory. I'm seeing breakthroughs. And we did see that six of wands. Um when we were, um, you know, using the uh, traditional tarot. So someone's name could be Mike, Mark, Mary, Madeline, Magdalene. Um, I'm hearing manifestation. I'm hearing money, money, money. Uh, I'm hearing moolah. I'm hearing mother. So, you know, some of you all, you could be dealing with situations like that. I'm definitely hearing that there's um, um, a marriage. I'm hearing marriage as well. I'm hearing something can result in marriage. I'm also getting masculine. So there is a masculine that could be coming towards you. But I'm, I'm definitely getting money. I'm definitely getting moolah. Um, we also have Jay. So this is, I'm getting Judas off the rip. I heard Judas. So there's a liar. There's a deceiver. There's someone that is um, wearing a false mask in your situation. I feel that's why Spirit kept emphasizing the importance of using your intuition and to also make someone earn your um, trust to not just give it freely. People have to earn it, especially people who have deceived you in the past. Like you can't just pick up right where you left off. You know what I'm talking about? But with this, I feel you're also getting justice. If you were lied to, if there was a Judas, if there was someone that was like, you know, plotting and planning um, your downfall or someone that had some vendetta or some evil 
um, intentions towards you. I feel like you're getting justice. I feel like things are going to be handled fairly and and um, justified, you know, justly for you. Like you won't have anything to worry about um, or you don't have anything to worry about. Archangel Mikael came right back out. And remember, he showed up in the reading um, several times. So you are protected. And that's why you are getting this justice as well. That's why your manifestations are coming towards you. I feel like because, you know, whoever you had that was, you know, um, being a snake, being a liar, um, you know, and intentionally so, that's why Spirit was telling me, like, if you're getting these sensations and your left ear gets to ringing, um, that's a message from your higher self that there's some sort of shift. And, you know, a shift can be good or bad, but that's why you have to, you know, spirit is bringing it to your attention to pay attention to how you feel, um, especially energetically, um, because you right now is very important to pay attention to your intuition. We just had a mass shooting, you know, and, you know, being in these outside settings during Mars and Scorpio isn't the best idea. You know, people look cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs and that lunar energy, you know, the term lunatic is derivative of lunar so that means that the moon does affect the psychology the psyche you know the psyche um I, yeah the psychology of people it, it it affects the moods the emotions it triggers so you know that's why people got to be very mindful and pay attention we're not just saying these things because it sounds good like as above so below that that's not just something to say because you know i want to just say it i'm saying it because when that energy the celestial energy as is in is as intense as it is you better believe it's going to impact us here so it's like you have to know how to navigate you have to know you know w when to step away when to you know get away from things um or when to you know kind of go into um you know that hermit mode um but we have this k so i'm hearing king i'm hearing kind i'm hearing the word keisha i'm hearing um christopher I'm hearing um, even um, karmic. So some of you all are dealing with a karmic. And I heard crazy karmic. Some of y'all are still dealing with a crazy karmic that just won't let you go. That has become like a stalker. You know, even if this isn't someone's, you know, ex stalking you, feminines or masculines. Um, this could be someone just stalking you, your ex stalking you. Stalking your life, stalking, you know, your, your Facebook, stalking your, your social media platforms, driving by your house, literally stalking you, you know, doing background checks and stalking you like all kind of crazy. So crazy karmic is what I'm getting from that. But I'm also hearing Kevin, Christopher, Keisha. I heard, um, Calvin. But just be mindful of a karmic. And we have SOS band, and this is called um, Just Be Good To Me. So that's all you want. I feel like that's all you want. That's all you're desiring is someone that's going to be real, someone that's going to be good. The sky looks absolutely beautiful. It's like pink and peach and purple and orange. It's just gorgeous. You have nine, and that was one of the numbers, so nine. Remember, we had the nine of cups, nine of pentacles showing up. And this is what I'm seeing is just like, this is called selfish love and me, myself and I, this is my day, last soul type of energy. That nine is really guarded. That's that, you know, that's that energy of, you know, the wounded warrior, but you know, now to establish boundaries as necessary. So as not to get hurt. So as not to be, you know, disappointed, you know, but this is a really powerful energy because it's like you're taking your power back. I'm hearing a yes. I'm hearing yin. I'm hearing yang. I'm hearing the name Yasmin. Yolanda, yo-yo. But I'm definitely hearing yes. So whatever you were, you know, asking throughout this reading, if there was something you were asking, the answer is yes. Something you wanted to know, there's definitely karmic endings, completions. I'm hearing that you will get um, some sort of judgment call or someone's having a wake-up call. But there's definitely something coming to a com uh, coming to a close. It's ending. It's done, done, fin is what I'm hearing. But we all know every ending represents what? New beginning. So that's what this, you know, lunar eclipse is definitely closing out cycles, as I was saying. You have Archangel Uriel. So trust your intuition. Use your first eye to see and not the two in your head because they will deceive you. You also have the letter I. 
So this is about independence. Your independence is the foundation for your stability, your security. Also be intentional about what you want. You know, hi friend, you just woke up from your napsies. You just woke up from your nappies. From the napsy nappy nappies. Hi baby baby. So there's definitely someone I feel that um, is coming in intentionally. I feel you also have the ability to manifest your desired outcome. Because remember, we saw that M and I was saying manifestations. So I'm definitely feeling like, you know, your intentions, what you think, along with your emotions, it can definitely manifest in rapid time. And I see victories here. I see breakthroughs. I'm also hearing Iris, Isis. Some of you all could be going to ancient Kemet. I'm hearing Kemet also with that K. We saw that K. Some of y'all could be taking a trip to um, ancient Kemet, which is Egypt, to go see the pyramids. Someone's name could be um, Ingrid. I'm hearing Ingrid. I'm hearing Isaac. Someone could be from Illinois, Idaho, Indiana. Um, we also have 12. So this is observation. This is looking at things from a different perspective. So someone is absolutely observing and admiring and watching from a distance. But that 12 also breaks down to three. So that's that energy of, you know, divine femininity or divine masculinity where you're just, you know, in that creative mode, birthing new ideas, birthing new ways of thinking, just, you know, making things, creating, being, being an artist, being, um, an alchemist, the Magi. This number seven also showed up. So your crown chakra. We also have H. I'm hearing Harry. I'm hearing Hillary. I'm hearing healing. A lot of you have healed. And have you have healed, but some of you are still healing. So give yourself the grace and the space to continue healing. I'm hearing Helen. I'm hearing some of y'all are hippies, like y'all are still like, you know, flower children, you know, like you, you know, you just like blow one in the air. You love to wear like little flowers in your hair. You know, you may like plant your own, have your own garden, you know, just very free. I feel liberation. I feel very free, very, very um, loving energy. And I'm also hearing, be honest, be honest with yourself. Because you do have some haters around you as well. There's a lot of people that hate what they can't duplicate. And they fear what they can't conquer. So it's like misappropriated anger, projection, all of those things. That's why it's not good to internalize other people's um, nonsense. It's like you got to have a barrier. You got to protect yourself. And next we have the number five. So expect some communication. I'm definitely feeling like someone could be reaching out and communicating with you. But I'm also hearing, like, hone your skills, gifts, and talents. You know, that's the way you stay off the radar and out of the way is by just working on you, <laughs> improving you. You know, that eye is also improving. You know, it's about improving yourself. And when you do that, it leads to victories. It leads to those breakthroughs. But this is your reading, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. I hope the message has resonated for you. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, the share, the subscribe button. If you would like to book a spiritual consultation with me, please check the um, description box and click on the link in the description box below. Um, to all of my beloveds that are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. And I hope that you all will stay a while that are new. And I hope that the way that I read and this message has resonated. My other messages, I got over 300 readings um, on YouTube, so check them out. There could be something. There has to be something out there for you. Um, and if this reading doesn't resonate, check your natal chart to see what your other placements might be because perhaps, you know, you're looking in the wrong space and place for the answers. So it might be in your moon that the answers might come through. So check what your placement is in your moon. Check what your placement is for your Venus. Check what your placement is for your Mercury, your, your, your ascended, um, your rising. But thank you again for tuning and tapping. And until next time, peace.